you can do it, Scott. Come on. They're not listening to me. You have to commit. You have to mean it. No shortcuts, no lies. Throwing insults into the mix will not do anyone any good, Hope. We don't have time for coddling. Our focus should be on helping Scott. Really? Is that where our focus should be? without her. Oh, God. You gotta lock your doors. I mean, really, there's some weird folks in this neighborhood. Do you think this is a joke? Do you have any idea what he's asking you to risk? You have a daughter. I'm doing this for her. You know when my mother died? I didn't see him for two weeks. He was in grief. Yeah, so was I, and I was seven. And he never came back, not in any way that counted. You just sent me off to boarding school. You know, I thought, with all that's at stake, just maybe we might have a chance of making peace. But even now, he still wants to shut me out. He doesn't want to shut you out. He trusts you. Then why are you here? It proves that he loves you. Hope, look at me. I'm expendable. That's why I'm here. You must have realized that by now. I mean, that's why I'm in the suit and you're not. He'd rather lose this fight than lose you. Anyway. You know, I didn't know you had a, a daughter when I called the cops on you. What's her name? Cassie. It's a pretty name. You have to clear your mind, Scott. You have to make your thoughts precise. That's how it works. Think about Cassie, about how badly you want to see her and use that to focus. Open your eyes and just think about what you want the ends to do. Good. 